due to popular requests, and also partly we are keen to know how the noise reduction algorithm works in the DJI Osmo Action 4 camera, we've decided to perform a simple noise reduction test to see the results. We set the DJI Osmo Action 4 at 4K 25p, normal color profile, 150th second shutter speed, and locked the color temperature at 3500K. Custom setting sharpness at minus 2, and keeping everything else as constant as possible, we vary the ISO settings and ramp up the noise reduction to see the effects. So here's starting at ISO 12800, noise reduction at minus 2. This is ISO 12800, noise reduction at minus 1. ISO 12800, noise reduction at 0. And this is ISO 12800, noise reduction at plus 1. Here is the side-by-side -side of noise reduction minus 2 and plus 1, ISO 12800 for comparison at the two extreme ends. And here is the side-by-side -side comparison at minus 2 and 0. This is minus 2 versus minus 1. Next, we ramp down to ISO 6400 settings. Noise reduction, minus 2. Noise reduction minus 1. ISO 6400 with noise reduction at 0. Noise reduction at plus 1. Here is the side-by-side -side comparison with ISO at 6400, noise reduction minus 2 and plus 1 for extreme ends. And here is the side-by-side -side comparison at minus 2 and 0. This is minus 2 versus minus 1. We will be repeating the same comparison test at ISO 3200, ISO 1600, and ISO 800. Feel free to scroll through, pause, or forward to compare between the ISO versus noise reduction settings. After observing the characteristics at ISO 12800 and ISO 6400, we think that the jump between noise reduction minus 2 and minus 1 is significant. But it is hard to see the difference between minus 1, 0, and plus 1 settings. The difference is very subtle, and we don't know if we can even tell after YouTube's compression. In our post-production monitoring setup, we don't quite like the look of plus 1 on noise reduction as it seemed to smooth out and remove away all the temporal information, and it makes the overall image look a bit softer. The small amount of light flicker and fluctuation details is lost in the background as if everything that is not moving have suddenly become a static frame. 
The color banding in the darker and lower detailed areas seem to be a bit more prominent at plus one noise reduction settings too. The effects seem to be like when we play around with recording bit rates during streaming. Once we lower bit rate, the details dropped. At zero on noise reduction, we think that it is quite well balanced, and it's a touch sharper than at plus one. Compared to minus one on the noise reduction, there seem to be less mosquito noise as it smooths out the compression artifacts. For future reference, we'd be happy to float between minus one and zero on noise reduction, depending on the ISO we've chosen and how much details we'd want to preserve during the capture. Lastly, for the curiosity, we try at ISO 100 to see what kind of effects the noise reduction is doing to the image. We hope you like this noise reduction settings comparison.